This tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to check an input value is an Armstrong number or not using a function. Now let us first see what is an Armstrong number. For example, we consider one Armstrong number of three digit which is 371. Now why 371 is an example for an Armstrong number? Take each digit of 371 which is 3, 7 and 1 and individually find out the digit raised to the 3. Why 3? Because 3 is the total number of digits in that number. So it becomes 3 raised to 3 plus 7 raised to 3 plus 1 raised to 3. So the value makes total 371 which is the original number. So if the original number and the cube root cube of each individual digits is equal to the original number then that is known as Armstrong number. Similarly while we are calculating the Armstrong number for the four digit we have to extract each digit and each digit raised to 4 needs to be calculated. For example, if you are calculating 1634 which is the number of Armstrong, to calculate that each digit will be extracted and we find out 1 raised to 4 plus 6 raised to 4 plus 3 raised to 4 plus 4 raised to 4 and find the sum of all, all those values that becomes the original number which is 1634. Similarly, if we are finding out the Armstrong number for a 5 digit number, we have to extract each digit and find the exponential of or the digit raised to 5. For this program, we write a method or function. The function is named as EastAmstrong. The function definition starts with a keyword DEF and it takes one parameter which is ST. Now why first we find out what is the length of the number of which we have to calculate the Armstrong or not and it's stored into the variable P. Now the number which is taken which is in the form of string we convert into an integer format and store into the variable. By using a while loop we extract each digit from the number by using modulus operator and successively find out d raised to p. where p is the, the length of that particular number how many how many digits are present in that particular number so if it is a 3 digit number the value of p will be 3 if it is a 4 digit number the value of p will be 4 similarly now the while loop will keep on repeating as long as the value of n is greater than 0 each digit will be extracted and find out the raise to p and get added to the total variable. Finally, we check the actual number which is preserved in the variable num with the total. If both are same, then we return the value true to indicate that it's an Armstrong number. If they are not same in the else block, we return the value as false to indicate that the number is not an Armstrong number. Outside the function definition, a value has been accepted from the user by using an input method and stored into the variable x. Now the user entered number will be in the format of string. We are taking the number in the format of string itself which is to find out the length of the digits. 
present in that particular number. Now we use the function which we have created. The name of the function is is Armstrong and we pass the parameter as x which is the number which we have taken. If the function is returning the value true, we print that the number is an Armstrong number else we print as the number is not an Armstrong number. Execute and see the program output.